In this video, we will calculate a specific enthalpy change in kilojoules per kilogram. So in this problem, we have Q, which is going to be heat loss of a turbine, and WS, which is shaft work, the amount of work that the shaft in the turbine is producing. And so let's get started. So first we will write a energy balance equation. Delta H is equal to Q minus WS minus the kinetic energy minus the potential energy. So first we will calculate the kinetic energy. So delta E K is equal to the mass flow rate divided by 2 times velocity squared minus velocity squared, the change in velocity, right? So first we want to convert our 250 kilograms per hour into kilograms per second. And that is pretty simple. So we say 250 kilograms per hour, and we know that one hour is 3,600 seconds. And so we would get 0 0.0694 kilograms per second. And now we will apply this into our formula. So we have 0 0.0694 kilograms per second divided by 2. And we will multiply this by the change in velocity. On the product side, we have 300 meters per second. And on the input side, we have 70 meters per second. So we will say that 300 squared minus 70 squared. And the units for this is meters squared, second squared, because I'm squaring both the 300 and the units. And so this right here would equal 2953. We would have kilograms times meters squared divided by second cube because kilograms per second so the second is in the denominator and this is second squared that's why we have second cubed we would want to convert this into a kilowatt so this is what we have here right one conversion that we know is one kilogram times meter divided by second squared is equal to one newton by doing this, kilograms cancel, and meters, we would have only a meter times newton. Second cubed divided by second squared would give us just second. So right now we have meters times newton divided by second. And there's an easy conversion for this. One newton times meter divided by second is one watt. And a thousand watts is one kilowatt. And so we would get 2.953 kilowatts. Next, we will calculate potential energy, this part right here. So the formula for potential energy would be this. The change in potential energy would be as follows. So the mass flow rate times gravity times uh, the change in height. Z represents height. So the mass flow rate was 0 0.0694 kilograms per second. This is the mass flow rate. So 0 0.0694 kilograms per second times our gravity, which is 9.81 newtons divided by kilogram. Or you could have said meters divided by second squared. They're both equivalent times the change in height. For us, it was negative seven meters because from here to here is seven. So it's gonna decrease by seven. And then this right here would equal negative 4.766 Newtons times meter divided by second. Now we will convert this into kilowatt, like what we did for the change in kinetic energy. So we have negative 4.76 Newtons times meter divided by second. And we know that 1,000 newtons times meter divided by second is one kilowatt. And so we would get negative 0.00476 kilowatts. This is a change in potential energy. In our problem, this is what Q is equal to, right? 
So we have negative 10 raised to 3 kilocal per hour. Uh, we know that 0 0.239 times 10 to negative 3 kilocal is equal to 1 joule. What we want to do here is get the same type of units, like kilowatts. So we need to ultimately convert this into kilowatts. And we know that one hour is 3,600 seconds. Finally, 1,000 joules per second is one kilowatt. And let's check if our units make sense. Kilocal cancels, hour cancels. So now we have joules per second, joules per second, and we have a kilowatt. So joules per second would cancel, and we just have kilowatt. So this would equal negative 1.16 kilowatt. Finally, now we will get WS, which is given as 60 kilowatt, so we don't need to really do anything. So the shaft work is 60 kilowatt, which was given. Now we ultimately want to calculate the specific enthalpy change. And so this is not the specific enthalpy change. So once we set this up, Q minus WS minus EK minus change in potential energy, we will get an answer in kilowatts. After that, we will divide by the mass flow rate, which would give us kilojoules per kilogram. And I'll show you what I mean. So this was the formula we had that the change in H enthalpy is equal to Q minus WS minus delta EK minus delta EP. We calculated all of these pieces of information. We had negative 1.16 minus 60 minus 2.953 minus parentheses negative 0 0.00476 and we would get negative 64.11 kilowatts. All of these pieces of information were given in kilowatts. Now the next piece of information is another formula that delta H dot is equal to mass flow rate times the change in specific enthalpy. So now we have this piece of information, which was negative 64.11. So the change in specific enthalpy is equal to delta H dot divided by M dot. Um, delta H dot was negative 64.11 kilowatts. However, we know that kilowatts is equal to kilojoules per second. We divide by the mass flow rate which was 0 0.0694 kilograms per second. Now our units would be this. This would cancel, this would cancel, and we would have kilojoules per kilogram. Our answer would be negative 923.8 kilojoules per kilogram. Now a quick check if you want to double check that this unit is really kilojoules per kilogram. So we had kilojoules per second and then we had divided by kilograms per second so we had kilojoules per second divided by kilograms per second in these types of situations what we do here is say this kilojoules per second times we flip this part second over kilogram so second second kilojoules over kilograms and that's all we need to do for this problem